Hey guys, so for the next few episodes of Read Science, we're going to be talking about spooky Halloween science topics. I know you're super excited for that. Well, um, there's a lot of really cool legends and myths that um, surround Halloween that actually have some sort of scientific background. So we're going to talk about some of those things. Some of them will just be gross and creepy. Other ones will be a little bit mystical. Alright, so stay tuned. It's spooky Read Science. <laughs> Okay, so since it's the month of October, our first episode for our Spooky Read Science is gonna be about rabies. All right, so maybe that doesn't sound so scary, but rabies is actually considered by a lot of scientists to be the deadliest disease on Earth. What, you say? I thought rabies was that thing that, you know, crazy dogs had and they foam in the bath and boom, boom, you kill old yeller. And... Okay, so it is that, but in fact, rabies has, wait for it, rabies is in fact 100% fatal. That means you die. Uh, without vaccination. 100% fatal without vaccination. Now I'm sure you're thinking, wait, what? Isn't there like this rabies vaccination and you like stick it in your butt and it's really painful? Yes, there is what we call post-exposure prophylaxis. Say it again, post-exposure prophylaxis. And this is a vaccine that um, you can actually take if you've been bitten by a rabid animal um, and it will save you if you take it before clinical signs appear. Now what does that mean? That means before you start having and showing symptoms of rabies and the incubation for ra rabies is a good period of time. So you have a little bit of time to get this done. Now rabies legends and accounts of actual rabies have been along for a very, very, and around for a very, very long time. Many of the historical accounts of rabies actually are gonna to lead to some of our more fearsome Halloween legends like uh, zombies and vampires and werewolves even. Um, Rabies has been around for an extremely long time, though, including the ancient Greeks even talked about rabies. Aristotle himself documented cases of madness in dogs, and when they bite other dogs, they transmit that disease to the other animals, which is exactly how we see the transmission happening in real rabies. So rabies is a disease that spreads through animal bite, and it's actually going to use your own central nervous system to get to your brain, and that is its end goal. So actually, the further away you from your brain, like on the tip of your fingers, um, the better off you are, because the virus is actually going to crawl up basically your nerves to get to your brain. So um, if you have a bite, for example, on your foot, you're better off than if you get bit in the face. Now the animals that transmit rabies in the United States are going to be animals, common animals that we see like bats and foxes, um, sometimes cats or dogs, and skunk. Skunk. So we talked about already this grace period or this waiting period you have before you start showing symptoms and that's going to be when the virus gets to your brain. Once it gets there, there's nothing you can do. You're pretty much dead. Um, but before it gets there, we can take our vaccine that can basically stop the virus in its track as it's crawling up your arms to your brain. Now the symptoms, so once again you start exhibiting symptoms, you're pretty much dead, which is very sad, um, are going to include fever, agitation, hydrophobia, you don't want to drink any water, which is really good for the virus because how is it transmitted again? Through biting. People even begin to have mouth spasms at the thought of water. It's really crazy. Sometimes you even start to have painful spasms, and unfortunately you can die within a week of exhibiting symptoms if you haven't had your post-exposure prophylaxis vaccine. So, big bummer. Another scary thing is that rabies is all over the entire globe. Let's take a look at the map. So even though this map is a little old, we can see that rabies is pre present on every single continent, um, except for Antarctica, and um, it's actually in 150 countries. Countries. We have the most cases of rabies in places like Asia and Africa. The World Health Organization also says that on average, 60,000 people in the world die from rabies every year. Now, there are in fact a few exceptions to this 100% death rule. The Milwaukee Protocol is the first documented case of treatment and survival of rabies. Now, there's been a few other cases of like uh, wild children or like a wild child um, that has survived a rabies case. There's a lot of skepticism around those cases. The Milwaukee Protocol, however, was about a young girl who got rabies, unfortunately was not taken to the hospital until she started exhibiting symptoms, when we know is too late. Um, so doctors tried a very risky maneuver and they actually put her in a coma, slowing down her brain activity. So what happened was the body was actually starting to develop antibodies against the rabies virus and very, very slowly was able to fight the rabies virus away, fight it off. Um, they brought her back out of the coma after you know lots of complications and a very long period of time. There's a really great radio lab episode if you want to listen to it about this specific case, which I will link at the bottom here. Um, but and eventually, long story short, it worked. It took a very long recovery. It was very, very risky and very dangerous. Um, and there was skepticism around the treatment as well. 
some doctors thought that maybe this wasn't a treatment. Maybe this was just one of the, the very, very rare cases of someone who is already um, able to fight off rabies on their own. There's also cases of special people found in Peru that perhaps could be um, immunologically special people, these um, people with antibodies already towards against the rabies virus. Unfortunately, there's a lot of arguments against these cases as being not well documented or perhaps pseudoscience. Um, so we really, really have a lot of mystery surrounding rabies. The good news is that rabies is preventable with the, the pre-exposure vaccine, um, which you can take if you're going to a country, if you're traveling to a country with high risk of rabies. You can also vaccinate your pets, vaccinate dogs. All of these are wonderful preventative strategies against this very, very deadly disease. All right, so hopefully you haven't gotten too freaked out and just know that again rabies is preventable as long as you take the necessary precautions Get your post exposure prophylaxis and stay away from scary animals um, That aren't afraid of humans. You should be okay. All right. Stay tuned. We got more creepy videos coming up soon <laughs>